Thanks for having a look at today's video and today we're continuing on with that GHQ uh, 1 to 25 or 6 millimeter scale uh, buildings that we've been doing uh, that we unboxed in the previous GHQ video and on the left here we've got that two bay townhouse and this is it here so the two bay townhouse with the hip roof but on the packet it said flat roof but it's hip roof in the catalog so that's the first one we're looking at which is this one here is disassembled and then this one in the background is the, the building assembled so got two and then the other one we're looking at here which is the small bamboo hut so it's just here bamboo hut tmb 40 in the ghq micro armor catalog and that's a small hut there so one at the back um, is assembled and we'll just go through how i clean them up and prepare them for um, gluing and then for priming so Move the two we've got here just out of the picture for a minute and we'll move that building off to the side. So the small bamboo hut just comes with two parts. It's just the roof and the four walls which are already assembled from the packet. So I just use a store-bought super glue. So here in Australia this is Selly's quick fix super glue and it just dries fast. So all I do is actually Turn the top of the building upside down and have a look, make sure I've got it the right way up. So the small little windows go to the top, so that's the right way up. So this is the top. And actually put a bit of glue, there's no real flashing to clean up, so I just put a line of glue around it like that. And then what I do is turn it upside down onto the onto the roof and then I'll just put a little bit of extra glue around the outside on these four blocks on the inside just to make sure it gets a good bond and that's it for that little bamboo hut that's all I do to glue it on and I'll just leave that off the side like that um, and let it dry and this is the other one I did before same same way and if I just sort of put it on my hand you can see what it looks like the little windows at the top yeah and quite a good little model and then any little bits of flashing can tidy up there's a, a tiny bit just there and that's just a matter of grabbing a, a file and I know the file looks massive but trust me it's not and just tidying up any of those little edges so that's the that's that um, bamboo hut TMB 40 and now we'll move on to the two bay townhouse with the hip roof so first of all let's bring all the parts back in I'll just have a look around the buildings. So there's a little bit of flashing up there, um, spruce snips, or you can use a Stanley blade or a file. You can just go around and just tidy it up. If um, if it did happen to gouge into this at all, I just turned into damage when we paint it. So it looks like the building's been uh, slightly damaged. So I just have a look around it, make sure I'm happy with it, and. GHQ have done an excellent job uh, with the casting of these models. They're, they're brilliant. They're not flashy at all. There's not much flashing on them or anything. So, And then this piece will go into this side and it's the, the thickest brick section goes to the bottom. And so I'll just, make, I'll just test fit that and then I'll have a look at this piece and there's nothing really to tidy up. I haven't really touched it from when we opened it. So I'm happy with that. I'll just run a bit of super glue inside. And then I'll just sit that in. Try and get it reasonably level at the bottom. And I'll leave that for a sec to dry so I'll just 
a master of organization. Um, I'll just leave that one up there. And then I'll have a look at this roof. Same again, just go around. You can use a hobby knife, sprue, snips, um, whatever you whatever you like, just to tidy it up. File, just any areas. Make sure it feels all right. And then I'll put this chimney on and you can see that's got a little bit of flashing on the top there. So I'll just trim that off. That one in the middle, just use a Stanley knife. Um, hobby knife, sorry. Just flick that out. Make sure I'm happy with that. They look good. And then I'll put a little bit of glue in front of that underside. And if you look at the picture in the catalog, the It'll give you an idea on where it's mounted. So we just come back to that picture, so it's sort of central. So I'll just pick a spot that I'm happy with. Mine's probably just off center, but that's fine. And then I'll move that up there just to dry for a little bit. And I'll bring back down the building and this flat side here is the front entrance so same thing again just go around with the file and give it a little tidy up make sure I'm happy with it always a quick test fit looks good I'll put a little bit of glue in there not too much that'll spread out Sit that front in, leave that, let that dry, just put it off to the side. And then the two windows on the roof, I'll just have a look at them. If I'm reasonably happy with them, I won't tidy them up too much at all. And for this, I'll put the glue on the roof. Then I'll sit that one on there. Let it bond for a second. You know, super glue is so powerful, it's gonna sit reasonably quick, and that's why I like it. And a little bit on the other side, same thing. Let that dry for a second. Come back to the building. Just make sure that roof's gonna sit on it all right. And then I'll just run a bead of glue around the top. Sit that roof on there. And that's what I do for the assembly of the buildings or well, the two buildings we're doing in this video and we'll definitely do more buildings um, different types and that's how I get them ready for priming and next video with this we'll get them primed up and we'll have a set primed and then um, do a set off camera so we sort of do the next couple of stages so that's how I get the two type this two types of buildings ready just um, Quick and easy, bit of tidying up with some sprue snips and file and a craft knife, hobby knife, and some super glue. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.